Yen Press stole my money. Let's talk about that. Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, Jake here, and uh, as the thumbnail and also the intro to this video might suggest, today I'm going to be recording my April 2022 manga haul. And I know this might be coming out a little bit early for April, but I already got so many volumes this month because I just basically killed my wallet. Uh, you'll see later down in the video, I just decided to go on a novel binge this month, and I decided to buy a crap ton of novels and my wallet hates me now but i'm going to just show you off what i've gotten this month and just start it off i'm going to start off with my viz stuff which is bringing me over here starting off is going to be a series i actually picked up last month but forgot to put in my haul purely because i'm just stupid like that i guess i'm just not that smart but that's gonna be jorman gun to volumes one through five um i know volume six is also pretty hard to find so i'm pretty mad that i have one through five and not six but nothing i can do about that now I know some of you guys might be saying, purely because I'm putting it in this haul and not my last one. What the hell, Jake? This should have been the last one, you, you numbskull. This, this is not for this month. You shouldn't even have put it in this month, even though you missed it. You're just trying to get the, the, the count of the volumes up. You know this right. Well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that kind of person. I am that kind of person. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot this in my last haul, but I'm the kind of person to just add this in this one so I can get more... Not, uh, volumes in this whole number i guess but yeah that's drawing gun one through five i haven't read this yet but i cannot wait i want to get six before i start reading it before i just get sad and you know can't find it for months and then i'm like why can't i read this why can't i read this right now so just trying to find the volume six and then i'll start reading this but that's it for drawing gun next up the next thing i did pick up the actual animation star recently and it's been fire uh wit and cloverworks are just two amazing studios Working together on Spy Family, this is Volume 7. So far, I'm really enjoying Spy Family. Of course, I haven't read anything past, I think, Volume 4 or 5. I'm going to have to reread it because I completely forgot a lot of the stuff that happened. But I'm going to say this right now. Spy Family is an amazing new gen. One of the better new gens we've seen so far. And I really love how it's actually getting all the popularity it deserves. Because, to be honest, it's one of the best mangas that have been going on for a while now. And I cannot wait. It's very wholesome. has a little bit of action in there. And a bit of mystery. It's really good. Really nice uh, kind of slice of life kind of series i don't know if i would consider it for this life but i have one problem with this cover what how what 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 what, what? why it, it's like black on black i can't see half the word of fa family but nothing i can do there i mean at least the spines fire but i think that after like 20 spines of these it won't look that great but otherwise amazing series inside the volume so i'm not going to complain too much about it art is fantastic and definitely highly suggest spy family and trying to pick it up because it's going to be rough right now because the anime is so good. So it's going to have that dress up darling effect where the you just can't find it for months. But yeah. Next up is a series uh, that just recently got published in Viz. And I'm super, super, super excited because I read 40 chapters of it online quite a while ago when it was at chapter 40. And uh, I didn't just I just didn't want to read it weekly. And like literally two weeks later, they announced it. Sakamoto Days Volume 1. I love Sakamoto Days. I had the first two volumes in Japanese. Just in case this never got English physicals, because I felt like it was one of those series that wouldn't get English physicals. Very much enjoy Sakamoto Days. Highly recommend it. I will say the first volume is probably the weakest part of Sakamoto Days. I would say it's probably the first volume, and then it just keeps getting better and better and better. The second volume has a full arc in it, and that arc is fire. And then each volume is just getting a new arc, basically. And each new arc is better than the last one. Uh, I very highly suggest Sakamoto Days if you haven't. It's nice comedy action. Again, it's a really good one. Definitely gives me heavy Gintama vibes on how it switches from really serious to really comedic very fast, but in a very good way. So definitely highly suggest talk about this. Uh, the next thing I'm going to be showing off is going to be a volume called uh, that's second to last of the series. Also, really, I've been loving the manga because he just released a one shot that's just going to be. I really enjoyed it, and I cannot wait to hopefully get the physicals in the future. And that's going to be Chainsaw Man 10. If you don't know anything, I saw it there my new nine because I didn't return it and replace it from Amazon because I was too lazy. And I have a Diamond Volume 9, but it's on my shelf just in case, so I can just easily replace it. But yeah. Um, so I cannot wait to get the final volume, which actually comes out a couple days before my birthday. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, same problem I have with Spy Family. You can't really see the one here. It's really hard to tell. Uh, but otherwise, really cool cover. Really great spine. I'm actually starting to really love the Chainsaw Man spines when they're all together. They look fire. But yeah, really love Chainsaw Man. Can't wait for the last one. I'm going to reread it right as I get my Volume 11. Such an amazing series and definitely easily bingeable. 
definitely recommend it. Definitely is a little overhyped, I will admit that, but it's still very good. Talking about overhyped, this series is considered overhyped, but I don't see it because it's just that amazing. Kaiju number eight, volume two. Um, I think with each volume of Kaiju number eight, it gets better and better because it's the same thing with Sakamoto Days. I read up to chapter 40. Once it got up to date, uh, once I got up to date, two weeks later, they decided. We're going to make this physicals in English. So now I have volume two. Very much enjoyed what I read and I cannot wait for volume three because I know where this left off because I skimmed through it because I want to wait a little bit before I reread this series and give it like five volumes before I reread it. But where this left off is about to go into such an amazing moment in Kaiju number eight. I cannot wait for volume three to come out and I cannot wait to, I probably will reread it when volume three comes out purely because I love the contents of what's in volumes three and four. So Hopefully it, it is all in volume three because I don't know how long that technically is chapter wise, but hopefully it is because I really like what's coming up and Kaiju number eight is just fire. Very much recommend. Of course, it's going to be one of those ones that once the anime comes out, which it probably will be coming out at some point because of how popular it is in Japan, that it's just going to be out of stock like that. And even nowadays, it's pretty hard to find. So I definitely suggest picking this up whenever you can. I want to guess my word. So I said I would get the box up for the series, but... I saw a buy one get one 50% off sale and I decided to get two hardcovers. I'll show the other hardcover later, but this was one of them and that's going to be Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Well, just Full Metal Alchemist. I don't know why I said Brotherhood, but this is the Full Metal Edition Volume 1. Since it was buy one get one half off, I got two hardcovers to save a lot more money than if I were to get three, uh, two normal Viz volumes. And uh, this was one of them. I was really wanting the box set. I don't know why, but it's purely because these fade. I've seen them fade very often. So hopefully mine doesn't and hopefully it stays in good condition because these are really nice looking. I know we're about to get volume 17, which is the last one very soon, I believe. So hopefully I can catch up before that goes out of stock and all the rest go out of stock because I really liked Full Metal Alchemist when I watched uh, the anime Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood a while back. Did really enjoy it. Definitely not in my like, top 10, but it's definitely a very solid series. Really great watch and I cannot wait to get more of this so I can re uh actually read it for the first time i never actually read it so cannot wait to get more and hopefully i enjoy it as much as i enjoy the anime next up is one of my hottest takes and that's going to be a series that is more consistent than my hero academia and i would say overall better my hero vigilantes volume 12 i love vigilantes so much i don't know as a soft a soft spot in my heart and i just have to say it is one of my favorite new running series out there it's just such a fire series really love the main character in koichi really like the side characters in knuckle duster and pop step and also i really like how it uh, intertwines itself inside the my hero world i think it's really cool and very interesting how they do it and i very much would recommend getting vigilantes and i'm actually surprised this hasn't gotten an anime yet because it's volume 12 and i think it's pretty popular in japan as well so I'm pretty surprised this doesn't have an anime, but of course, most none of the My Hero spinoffs do, so this probably will never get it. But if we ever get a My, uh, My Hero Vigilantes anime by Bones, that's going to be fire. That will just be instantly fire. Going to rate that 10 out of 10. I don't care. It's going to be that fire. I just can tell, because if Bones do it, it, Bones never miss half the time. Other than when they make a movie for a series that wastes all their budget, and then they have a bad season. Cough, cough, My Hero uh, seasons 4 and 5. Just got just to gotta admit that. But yeah. Uh, very much love Vigilantes, highly recommend it. Next up is something that happened, read volume 6 of actually, and now I have volume 7, so I'm pretty much screwed, and uh, volume 8 comes out soon, I believe. Call of the Night volume 7, um, I need to read this real quick, I need to read volume 6 too. Very much love Call of the Night, I just want to binge it, I guess, instead of just waiting, because it is one of those series with amazing art and amazing story, and I really like what it's doing, so I don't want to just wait three months and wait three months and wait three months to continue reading it. I'd rather just get a bunch and then binge, because it's just that good. Very much a very, very different world than what we see with normal slice of life. It's in a very, very, very different atmosphere from a rom-com, and we'll say it is very, very unique, as... I don't think I've ever read anything like Cold of Night, which is something that is kind of spectacular to say about this series because I've read a lot. So yeah, very much love how Cold of Night, one of the way better new gens. Like of course, all these are new gens, but I would say this is probably the creme de la creme. That and like Vigilantes are probably my top two out of everything I just showed so far. So yeah, definitely recommend this one. Now for the last thing inside my Viz section of this video, and it's gonna be the my happiest find, my homie Kazzy sent this to me because she found it in a bookstore and I told her and a bunch of my homies that uh, I was actually looking for this series and uh, I finally found these last, well I didn't find them, Kazzy found them, but uh, she told me that she found them and she shipped them over and I paid her for them and I bought them off her and that's going to be v uh, Video Girl AI volumes 11 and 10. I have a complete set of this now so all I need is to complete my eyes set which I need volumes 1, 
9, and 15, I believe. And then I complete my uh, set of eyes. I have everything printed by him in English other than Shadow Girl. But I don't think I'm we'll behind Shadow Girl because that's pretty hard to find. But yeah, very much cannot wait to uh, continue it because I read the first two volumes. I very much, uh, very, very, really enjoyed this series. It was really inter uh, entertaining. A very different take on a rom -com, And uh, I really liked it. But I cannot wait to see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't stay repetitive because it was a little bit repetitive. And hopefully it doesn't because I really liked what was happening. And yeah, I'm very happy I got the two rare volumes. I have to say thank you again to Cassie who got me these. <laughs> Next up, the Kodansha section. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this one because... Yes, if you haven't watched on Orient video, then you would know this, but I got Orient Volume 8. Oh my god, this is good. Orient is so underrated. It is easily a 9 out of 10 for me. This series is just getting progressively and progressively better. With the character development we see from Musashi, from just the characters and the cast developing so much throughout the last five volumes, from Volumes 4 to Volumes 8, just such developments of this world and these characters that are just so good i would actually say this has potential to be better than magi in my eyes just no one gave it that shot because everyone was expecting an Edo period samurai series and when they didn't get that they just cried and complained and i'll say that was just not something that they should have done they definitely should have read on and they definitely are missing out on probably one of the best new gens out right now i very much love this the art is amazing uh, shinobu otaka really does not know how to draw a bad panel and all the bad panels are more comedic and they really just make me laugh really love the characters of musashi and kojiro and uh, Sumi, she's okay, but I'm going to say Musashi and Kojiro are really interesting and I really like them. And even the more recent characters we gain from Volume 7 and 8 are really cool. And also the antagonist group is so interesting so far. I, I forgot their name from the top of my head, but they're actually super interesting. I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing of them. So hopefully it stays with this because if it stays at the, uh, this level of entertainment uh, value, it's easily a 9 out of 10 for me and might even be better than Moggy when it finishes. Not much else I have to say about this next one. I already had the first like five. This is when I'm going to be starting my reading of this after I read a bunch of my novels that I picked up later in this video. I'll show you guys those. But um, Shaman King, I think this is novel. Oh, uh, not novel. Omnibus like six or seven. Now, I think this is when I'm going to finally start my Shaman King read because by the time I'm up to date with this, it'll probably be finished because they are coming out every other month. And this will take me a while as it's 20 something volumes and I'm not going to read it every day. I'm going to be progressively reading it with other series as well but very much like the look of these volumes they look really nice um i was i low-key kind of wish they were a little bit bigger like they were like sig size but you, you can you only take what you can get um i think that this should have been the size of the seven deadly sins on buses if any of you have seen those this isn't this is a little shorter it's the actual like viz volume size instead of the sig size but yeah not much else i have said i don't know not much else I have to say about Shaman King. I just wish it was that size. Just that's it. Sad that this volume might be one of the last volumes. Well, is one of the last volumes of the series. I love Ken Akamatsu, and this is probably going to be his last ever work. And I am very close to completing my whole entire Ken Akamatsu collection. I see one, no, two more volumes. Two more volumes. And um, this only, I think, has 29 volumes. And that's going to be UQ Holder. Volume 25 just recently came out. And it's sad to say it's about to be finished, but I also haven't finished Negima, so I can't continue on to UQ Holder yet. I've read the first couple ones of UQ Holder, and I then found out it was a prequel to, uh, no, not prequel, a sequel to Negima, so I had to read Negima first. Or I don't know if you have to, but you should. Uh, and I'm missing volume 28 of Negima, so hopefully that comes in soon, but probably not gonna. But uh, yeah, I cannot wait to continue my Negima read and finally get on UQ Holder, because the art in UQ Holder is just pure crazy it's just amazing and i'll say Ken Akamatsu doesn't miss love you know fire negima so far has been fire and also um uh what was the other one i had Mauchan. that was pretty good i read the first volume online that was pretty good and then um i think oh ai love you i read the first couple volumes of ai love you i have all of it very good as well i really like it so Ken Akamatsu does not miss one of my favorite monk is out there he's really good definitely highly recommend you q holder and negima from what i've read but yeah just cannot wait to finish this and uh can't wait to just finish my Ken Akamatsu collection, I guess. It's gonna be a sad moment though, so yeah. Now, this is the last thing I picked up from Kodansha, and it's really sick looking. This is gonna be the Seven Deadly Sins uh, box set too. I don't know why box set just uh, slipped my mind, but um, this looks really nice, but I've been really contemplating just getting the Omnibuses because they're SIG size and this art is crazy. Um, but I, I don't wanna double dip, but like, cause I haven't read this far. Uh, I think I've watched this one. I think I've only watched the first two scenes of the anime. So I think that's what these two box sets encompass. 
But um, yeah, I really did like the anime and I want to read it, but I, I don't know if I want to read physicals or omnibuses because the omnibuses really do look nice and I really do love the spine. So I don't know, I'm s still contemplating it. I'm pre-ordering these, but I might sell them at some point and get the omnibuses. I don't know yet, but yeah. That's it for my Kodansha section. I mean, I don't have much else from Kodansha that I'm going to be picking up. I really only mainly pick up uh, Viz stuff and 7C stuff, so not much stuff from this section, but yeah. On to my 7C section. Starting my 7C section is a series that a lot of people don't like, but I actually very much enjoyed the anime of 4, which was an anime original, but that's going to be Darling in the Franks, Volume 1, the 2-in-1 omnibuses that the uh, 7Cs are making, and it's a ghost ship print, so you know it's going to be a little mature, if you know what I mean by that. Um, the art is fantastic, because if you don't know, this is actually done by Kentari Ibuki, the art, which is the uh, artist for to love rue and the manga for black yet and of course now ayakashi triangle he has amazing art makes really pretty designs and just look at this i really love this uh the whole volume because it's all matte but the characters are like glossy i really like that and even the text on the spines glossy and the characters uh glossy it, it just looks really nice i'm only doing shaking it so you can see it off the glare of the Rain light, but <laughs> yeah, very much cannot wait to read this. I might wait for a couple more omnibuses to come out, purely so I can just binge this one, because I, I know what happens already, and I already know I'm going to like this, because I really like the anime. Of course, I don't like the ending that much, but I like the anime, so I'm probably going to like this. Now, this is going to be the actual first novel I'm showing off, and uh, it's actually going to be surprising to a lot of you that this is going to be the first novel I'm showing off in this haul, and uh, also probably going to be surprising that I picked this up to a lot of you, but that's going to be Light Novel 1 of Adachi and Shimura. I've heard very good things about this from my friend Ritsu, and um, cannot wait to read it. Uh, I know he's read the first, I think, one or two novels, and he says it's really good, and I hear only good things about it. I hear it's a really good Yuri, and um, can't, I just don't have any Yuri novels, or just like, I do have rom-com novels and like Slice of Life novels, like Train I have, I have Snafu, I have all that stuff, but like, I don't have a, a Yuri romance, so I definitely cannot wait to get into this, as it's definitely going to be one of the most different things in my novel collection, but I'm very happy to have it. Also, I just really like the colorways of the spine, I like the pink and then the darker pink, it just looks nice, so yeah. Adachi and Shimura is the first novel I'm showing off here. Now, for manga that very, very much surprised me, because I thought it would just be an edge fest, and that's going to be 2.5D Seduction Volume 2. I just recently read this one a couple days ago, and the first half of the volume just continued where the edge fest of Volume 1 ended off. But I was very pleasantly supplied, surprised by like the second two-thirds of this volume. This volume just became one of the most wholesome rom-coms out of nowhere, and I loved it. I think this was definitely a right change of pace and definitely a right change for this series of course i know it's gonna go back to being an edge fest soon but i'm gonna say that this little bit of a rom-com arc that we had in this volume was chef's kiss it was amazing and as you can tell it's a ghost ship title it is definitely an edge fest like i've been saying like millions of times I, I like this main character's development too and i just think that this is just gonna be one of those series i really enjoy and that not many people do, because it's definitely one of those ones that is just like super edgy for no reason sometimes, and it's not everyone's cup of tea. But I'm going to say this right now, the art is phenomenal, it's some of the best art I've seen in a while. I know it just became bi-weekly sadly, but we already are like 10 volumes behind, so we're going to have content for a little bit, and dude, it's just been so good. I highly recommend this one for anyone that's looking for something like Dress Up Darling, or just like a nice wholesome kind of rom-com that is also very edgy at the same time it's just so good i definitely definitely highly suggest this now the next series i picked up because of my homie plam or plasma's manga card's gonna be right here I actually is uh watched the anime and told me it was really good and i saw the manga was coming out so i decided to pick it up and that's i did 10 um dd's only uh, no only piece uh the art looks really interesting. I know this anime was done by MAPPA, which is a very different MAPPA series, because as you can tell, this just doesn't look like a series MAPPA would adapt. But I'm going to say this right now. Very much cannot wait to read this. Haven't read it yet because I got this more recently. But I hear good things about the anime, so hopefully I like the manga as much as they like the anime, because it's very different in terms of art styles for me. And I definitely will say that, that this art style I like a lot. So hopefully I enjoy the series as much as I enjoy the art style. Talking about Edge Fest and amazing art styles, I have into the most uh, deepest unknowable dungeon right into the deepest no into the deepest most unknowable dungeon well i, I keep messing up the title it's my third time recording this part i'm, I'm done trying to re-record that part but yeah um haven't read this one i did very much enjoy the first one it definitely was very etchy but the art was crazy at times 
whenever they show monsters, it is just phenomenal. I, I will say the character design is very, very, very lackluster. It is not that good. As you might be able to tell from the cover, it's just, I don't really like it that much. But the designs of the monsters are probably some of the best monster designs I've seen in years. They, they are phenomenal. I will say that so easily. The art is crazy sometimes. So definitely recommend this one, but on the fence with recommending it at the same time. Like, it, it's definitely not for everyone. I would definitely look on Annie List or Mal and look at the description and see if that's something that you'd be into. And maybe even reading the first volume, I would say, the first four chapters, because this is not for everyone. I'll very much admit that. It is definitely not for everyone. Now, for the weirdest one I probably picked up in this whole haul, that's gonna be Gunburn Sisters. I don't know why I picked this up. I think it was at like a buy one, get one 50% off. I think I got this as well as another volume somewhere. I don't know. I got this because it had a really interesting spine and really cool art. Um, of course, Seven Seas picks up the series with really interesting art styles that like no one knows about. And this is definitely one of them, but I think this is a Yuri. So it's gonna be another one of the Yuris that I added to my collection because I don't have many. So hopefully I enjoy this one, but I just picked this up at a random, so. I don't know anything about it, so I'm gonna be honest about that. <laughs> now you guys are probably gonna hate me because I only have one more manga volume, two more, three, three more uh, manga volumes that I know of, and the rest are novels. The rest are just straight up novels, and this is gonna be the start of it. And that's going to be the most notorious talker runs the world's greatest clan novel one. Um, this has been something I've been wanting to get into for a while, but I haven't. So when I saw it at Barnes Nobles, I just snatched that straight up because. I've been wanting it and I just didn't know when I should pick it up and then I just felt like that was the day where I finally pick it up and I did. I was in really good condition which a lot of the novels of my Barnes and Nobles half the time really aren't in good condition so I'm happy this was and I'm happy I picked it up. I'm gonna probably read this after I catch up to another series I'm gonna show off later but uh yeah very interested in this and I cannot wait to actually read this because it seems very interesting to me. Another novel, and this one's going to be the end of my 7C stuff, I believe. Yeah, it will be the end of my 7C stuff. That's going to be um, I Am Blue in Pain and Fragile by Yoru Sumino. If you don't know who Yoru Sumino is, he's the author of I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, and I am very close to completing my set of all of his works. I think all I actually need is I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, which is very ironic because it's the only one I've actually consumed in any format of anime manga or novels i've consumed the anime and manga but i haven't actually read any of his other works because i wanted to actually get a bunch of his works before i started delving into him and actually i want to finish evidence before i continue any more novels but um well i just spoiled one of my things later on it's fine though um this i cannot wait for i've been really hyped about and i also know i'll forget this feeling some days coming out soon very excited about that one because that one sounds really, really interesting. But uh, yeah, cannot wait. Yoru Sumino, I have already watched and read some of his work and I absolutely adored it. So hopefully I enjoy the rest as much as I did for I Want Your Pancreas. And I know a lot of them are a little bit different. Like at night I become a monster and also I, I, will, have, I will forget this feeling someday are a little bit different from the, uh, his normal kind of series. But I cannot wait to read this. Now that I'm finished with my uh, Seven Seas part, I can finally show off all the novels in my Yen Press part. If you don't like novels, you can just click off the video at this point because the rest is basically going to be novels. So sorry about all the people who aren't into novels, but if you're trying to get into novels, perfect time to stay. By novels, I mean like novels like Overlord and all that stuff. So if you're interested, please stay. First of all is one that actually can break into my top three. I feel this one is has such a high potential and I think is probably one of my favorite reads so far in the past couple months. There's gonna be Evidence in Shadow. I read the first one and as you can tell, I'm like a quarter way through the second one. Um, the slip covers are so nice. They all have really nice covers on them. Um, very, very funny. If you can't tell from this, it looks, it's just very funny. It's an isekai power fantasy, but it is definitely done very differently from the rest. And it is just a very funny read, a very good read and I uh, highly suggest Evidence. I know volume four comes out June 7th, I believe. So I'm trying to catch up by then, but I'm already halfway through volume two and I've just got them a week ago. So I'm probably gonna be caught up by next week. Hopefully I will because I'm loving it so far and it's been really good. Really like Sid as the main character and I really like the whole cast and Beta's best girl, just saying. Like, there's no way Beta is not best girl. If you think Beta is not best girl, just unsubscribe to me right now if you've read it and you don't think Beta's best girl. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, nothing else has to be said. But that's Eminence in Shadow. Another uh, Yen Press hardcover I bought, which most of these are, not most of them, but I have a lot of Yen Press hardcovers I did buy. It's going to be Overlord Volume 1. I know I'm getting on the Overlord train and it's been super late. I know a couple volumes are actually really hard to find. I think it's 4, 5, and 6. But um, 
yeah, I've been really wanting to get more novels that don't have anything on the back, like, um, on their covers, just pure black or pure color, because, uh, that means I can read them in public without seeming very weird. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to read a manga volume, like, uh, like, into the most deepest, most unknowable dungeon, and, like, in the middle of a train or in the middle of a class, because I feel like that'd be weird. So these like Eminence, like Overlord and all the other Gen Press hardcovers, which I love that they do this, have just pure hardcover, no color, uh, no cover, just pure color. And I like that. I like that because that means I can read it in public and not seem weird. But another thing I did re uh, pick up, which a lot of you, even novel fans, don't even probably know about, <laughs> that's going to be the Book and Bond series. I got the Devotion and uh, the Devotion of the Surgery Room and the Long Long Goodbye of the Last Bookstore. I read the first 10 pages of this, thought it was like, oh, it's a really good start, but um, I think I'm missing something. And I went on any list and I found out this was a sequel to this. So I picked up this instantly. Um, I cannot wait for more of it to get printed because I know long, long, uh, the long, long goodbye to the last bookstore just got printed. So I'm guessing we're gonna get volume three and volume four of the rest of the Bonds and Books series soon. Hopefully, because I very much enjoyed somewhat uh, what I've read of Devotion so far. And I cannot wait to get more. Because Devotion is what I'm basically bringing the class to read at this point. Um, like, before my class starts. Because I go to college. But uh, very much I'm enjoying Devotion a lot. And I cannot wait to get into the Long Long Goodbye and finish Devotion. And I cannot wait to get more into the series. Because I only hear good things about this from the few people that I know have read it. So, hopefully I enjoy it as much as they do. Okay. The next one I bought off instinct because volume two is hard to find it was actually reprinted on amazon recently and that's gonna be buck and i got novel one and two um i know you guys might be saying volume well, uh four and six are super hard to find right now yada 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 they're probably gonna get reprinted it's buck and oh it's a huge series and probably one of the best sellers for young press in terms of novels is probably buck and do rah rah which would be a reason why i'm not i would not be surprised if volume eight do rah rah came back in stock too but um, I think Bakano is probably going to be coming back in stock soon. And that's why I picked it up when I saw Volume 2 back in stock. I'm like, okay, it's going to come back soon. I got to pick it up soon. So I picked up the first two novels. Hopefully I enjoy it. I've been really wanting to get into Bakano as I love the anime. I cannot wait to read these. I also cannot wait to read Do Ra Ra because I also like the first uh, two scenes, which is what I, what I watched. And I cannot wait to get into it because I just love Do Ra Ra so much. It's so good. I love both of them. I didn't know this actually until recently, but they're actually made by the same person. Like the name, the same author made Bakano and Do Ra Ra, which is a little bit of a weird connection, but very much enjoy both series. So he, he, he's fire. So I, I hope I like Do Ra Ra and Bakano's novels. Sadly, I don't, I didn't pick up any Do Ra Ra this month, but yeah, that's, that's it for uh, Do Bakano, for me talking about Bakano. So I'm going to try and speed this up a little bit. Uh, the next two series I'm going to just show off at once because they're made by the same person. That's going to be, I got Bride Story Volume 1, which is what I got with my Full Metal Alchemist to get this 50% off. And uh, Emma Volume 3. Emma Volume 3 and 5 are actually in stock, and I know that Yam Press is actually reprinting Emma, so I want to get the print, uh, volumes that are already in stock before they reprint 1, 2, and 4, because it's 5 volumes incomplete. This is super fire, by the way. I like how it has an, uh, a reversible slipcover. It looks really cool. And yeah, I cannot wait to get into this. I've been wanting Bride Story for about, like, literally a year and a half year now. But of course, the homie HBL had to cop it and then just like hype everyone up and sell everyone to buy it before I did. So I look like a bandwagoner, but it's okay. HBL have this slight dub. I mean, you didn't get my novel, so it's okay. I, I mean, I'm just better. I, that's just all I'd say. <laughs> I'm kidding, HBL. But um, yeah, I cannot wait to get rid into these series. And uh, yeah, so far, that's all I have to say for these two series and onto the rest of my novels, which I picked up. So, the next series I did pick up, actually just got a recent anime adaptation, I think it was a fall 2021 series, that's going to be Banished, uh, Banished from the Heroes Party, I decided to live a quiet life in the countryside, volumes 1 through 5, I got all of what's out currently, um, basically me and my friend Risu were on VC, and we were talking, and he was just trying to one-up me by buying all the novel series that I didn't have complete, so I bought this just to flex on him a little bit. But I actually have been really wanting Banished, so it didn't really bother me that I did that, and uh, I cannot wait to get into Banished. I hear the anime is a little bit of a weird adaptation, because it actually caught up to volume, uh, novel 5 in 12 episodes, and I hear it skips a bit of volume 1, so it's going to be a weird adaptation, I hear, but very much excited to get into the novels, and after I finish the novels, I'm probably going to watch the anime. So if you guys like the anime, hopefully I do, but I hope I like the novels so I can get through the first 5.
Another series I picked up is this one that I actually didn't like the anime for. I, I really just didn't like it. I think it's one of my lowest rated animes on my annual list. But I hear the novel is just better, and I hear the novel is just some of the best novels you'll ever read. It's going to be World Dead, and I'm not reading the full name. It's too long, and I will not be able to read that. But uh, I got one through six, basically. It's five volumes, but there's an extra volume as well. Um, I've been really excited to get this. I've been really wanting this. I put this on my Banished Order as well. The spines are really nice. I really like the look of the spines, and I cannot wait to pick up Actually, there is no more. I think that there is a continuation of World End going on in Japan. But Yen Press have yet to print it, I believe. I think it's called Hunasuka, and I think this is Sukasuka. I don't know the actual Japanese, like, nicknames for these series. But, yeah, I hope they print that so I can pick that up. Because I think that actually has 10 volumes out right now. So hopefully they print it, but I don't know with Yen Press. They might not, but hopefully they do. Next up is a anime that's been just, like, highly rated by A1 Pictures. And this is a the novel for the original novel that won a lot of awards. 86, I got novels 1 and 2 from my Barnes & Nobles, which is just crazy that they're actually in amazing condition. I got them from Barnes & Nobles, and they were in stock because these two volumes have been impossible to find for months. So hopefully I can find the rest because a lot of them are out of stock. I think only ones that are in stock on Amazon are like 6 and 9, I think, or 6, 7, and 9. So hopefully I can get like 3, 4, 5, and then like eight as well uh but yeah very much want to read 86 it's gonna be another one on my uh to plan list this is probably gonna be high up there after i read eminence and vanished i'm probably gonna read 86 but i want to have all nine novels before i read it so hopefully i get them in that point because i hear amazing things about 86 i hear this is probably some of the best novels ever written so it has some high high standards being up there with snafu damachi and uh and uh infinite dendrogram if it does it but hopefully it does <laughs> The next thing I did pick up is The Otherworlder Exploring the Dungeon. I read the first chapter, and uh, I'm on, like, day three of chapter uh, two or something like that. I don't remember how it worked, but I have both the volumes. Um, so far, it's really good. I actually am really enjoying this. It's another isekai, but it is definitely done very, very differently. He doesn't, like, die and go into a new world. It's just a very interesting concept of how he got isekai And the world he got isekai into is pretty interesting as well. It actually reminds me a bit about, like, Damachi a little bit. So, if you're into Damachi, you might actually be into this series a bit. So, um, I have only read, like, the first, like, third of this novel, though. So, I can't give a huge, huge synopsis or huge recommendation of it. So, I really enjoy what I read. I hope it stays this good. And it, if it does, I would recommend it. And it does remind me still of Damachi from, like I said. From what I said. Not what I... I don't know. Just, yeah. I'm going to show these two volumes off. At the same time, even though they're not similar at all, but I gotta strike the blood eight because I want to get the rest of strike the blood, and I know a couple of them are hard to find, and this is one of them. Another one is a series I never heard about, and it's May these Leaden Battlegrounds Leave No Trace. I hear the first volume is kind of confusing, but I hear it gets really good after that. Uh, but here it's only confusing if you can't imagine it. Uh, not imagine it. If you can't imagine like these kind of things happening. So hopefully I enjoy this, and hopefully I enjoy try, uh, strike the blood because. I'm going to be picking up a lot of Strike the Blood, and there's only three novels of this out, so hopefully I enjoy this, but this is going to be, both these are, like, lower in my read order, because I need to get the rare volumes of Strike the Blood before I can actually read it. Okay, I think this might be my fifth or sixth to last series I have to show off. That's going to be Our Last Crusade, or The Rise of a New World. I got all eight novels. Um, This just struck me. This looked like something I would love, and I read the synopsis. The synopsis gave me everything I needed to pick up all eight volumes. This just looks really sick. Cannot wait to get into this. I hear good things about this. I don't know about the anime because I know there is a 12 uh, episode anime. And I really didn't like the opening because I listened to the opening. But hopefully the anime is good and hopefully this is good because I hear good things. But um, yeah, these spines are also beautiful. I love the multicolored novel spines because most novel spines suck. I'll be very honest but these are really nice. And um, can't wait to get into this. Not much else to say about this. I'm going to probably go quick because I have really nothing to say about the rest of the novels I have. So, yeah. Got another two for... Okay. Um, so, I also got Soul and Spider So What, novel one and two. Uh, I just showed them off in different order, but this is one. I got two in this hand. And I also got uh, a couple volumes of a series that is highly, highly rated. That's going to be The Empty Box and The Zero Width of Maria. I got volumes one, two, six, and seven. One is still on the way. My two is damaged, as you can probably tell from that. I'm replacing it on Amazon, but I got six and seven as well right here. And um, I hear really good things about this. So hopefully I can get it. But of course, volumes three through five are impossible to find. So hopefully I can find them for a good price. Because if I don't, then I'm going to be very sad. 
these spines are amazing. I love these spines for the uh, empty box. And uh, some of spiders, so what? Actually, is pretty underrated spines. I do like these spines a bit. They're pretty unique. So yeah. Now what's I would say about these? Of course, I don't have much else to say. And also, I don't want to waste everyone's time because this is already a super long video. Okay, the last thing in my end press section. Let's go. It's gonna be uh, Jose the Tiger and the Fish, the novel. Um, one critique I have already. It's literally using a picture of the anime as the uh, slipcover cover. That, that, that's the only thing I have a problem with. I love the anime's movie. It was amazing. That's all I have to say. So hopefully the novel lives up to that standard because that OST by Eve, just the animation and even the story were just chef's kiss. They were amazing. So hope it is as good as the anime. Now, I don't have really that many volumes from the rest of these publishers, so I'm just going to do Misc Publisher for this tag. But I actually picked up the rest of Dendrogram, which is uh, volumes uh, 12 through 14. This is 14... 13 and 12 and i also picked up another series that i didn't definitely was not thinking i was going to pick up anytime soon but i did it's gonna be tier moon empire volume one i hear good things about tier moon and also i love dendrogram dendrogram is my third favorite novel so i just had to pick these up and then of course i had to leave the best series for last the ultimate series for last dog ningen volume three that's it, guys. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we got some peak fiction. Peace!